picking up a load here in Florence, Kentucky. By door 33. All right. Tip City, Ohio for $1,400. This is $900 going back. Uh, I spent about $600 fuel. So my round trip is going to be about $2,300. I'm, I'm on my way back home. So leave out yesterday, back home today. So I like to do things. Not paying as much as I used to, though. Round trip used to be about $3,200 about 34 now it's only paying 23 it's about a thousand bucks less than what it used to be yeah things are things are tight in trucking right now but thank thank god we are blessed to have our truck and trailer paid for so that we can see profit find out what door I'm gonna get. Look at a big buffer doing big things. And I'm still gonna Uber drive this weekend. Uh, Cause I need some extra cash, man. It's grind season. I got the, uh, my procedure coming up, so. Uh, we're gonna grind as hard as we can. So I'm probably gonna take three weeks off. And uh, yeah, I don't know if some of y'all know, my wife actually has a degree where she can make almost a hundred grand whenever she feels like it. So she might she might look at going to do that, like work for six months so we can build up a whole lot of cash. But uh, I'm gone. I'll be right back. That was about dumb. Left my paperwork in the truck. So I had to run back out here and get it. They seem, seem pretty friendly though. Yeah. But even though rates are down, I think it has a lot to do with uh Who's in office? Whenever Democrats in office, I'm not I'm not a Democrat or a Republican, but whenever Democrats in the office, the trucking doesn't pay as well. But whenever Republicans in the office, trucking pays pretty good. Um, Democrats in the office, if you never if you ever notice, fuel goes up, food goes up every time. Um, so right right now, I'm not a big fan of Democrats. I don't care what anybody say. If it doesn't help me and my family. Why am I rooting for you? But, uh, you know, you vote for whoever you want, want to. You're going to be in 
door 55. Open your doors, lie your tendons, I will give you a phone call when the paperwork is ready. Yep, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. She got a very strong Spanish accent. Door 55. Seems pretty nice though. Like, like sweetheart. Slide their tandem. For those of you that don't know what a tandem is, those are the rear wheels in the back. So I got a pin on the rear wheels in the back of the trailer. There's a pin that I have to pull. And I pull forward. Slide my tandems forward. Go slide the trailer forward and the wheels are all the way back. Open the doors. And she had called me when they done. Yeah. With that said, trucking is not as good as it used to be. It ain't all bad neither. If you're just getting in, you don't have a bunch of money saved up. Might just start the way that I started. Working for a company. Working for a company. And uh, saving your money up. That's what I did. I didn't start off owning my own truck. You know. Working for a company. Buy your truck. Learn the game. Learn how to maintenance one. Learn how to keep everything running properly with your truck. truck and trailer but he ain't really he kind of fibbing on some stuff he didn't own everything he said he was on mm -hmm. um, I think he really actually owned one truck this I've listened to what he was saying he was making it like he owned two or three but I, he didn't actually own the two or three from what he was saying he paid off the one so he cashed in good off that one and he probably made a profit off of the other one they weren't paid in full but sometimes he would make it seem like he had the other trucks paid for, paid off too. But that that wasn't true, and, and he never had his own authority. You know, ain't, you know, he was he was getting money, built up a YouTube fan base real quick, and then got scared and jumped on out the trucking. So as, as soon as things got rough, he was gone. Made a little money off of YouTubers. And got ghosts. And I'm still here for y'all. I'm still here for y'all. I ain't quit. I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. Banging on the railroad. <laughs> Just clouds. Yeah, man. I'm having fun, man. I'm, I'm about, about to be back on my way to the house. For those of you that don't know, Lawrence, Kentucky uh, is probably like four hours from my house. It's not that far. Yeah, but this load is going from one <clears throat> Kroger to another. So from this Kroger in Kentucky going to another Kroger. For my family members that's watching, that my, my uh, a lot of my family is from Kentucky. Well, lives in Kentucky and a lot are from Kentucky. 
Uh, they watch my videos too sometimes. Sorry, y'all. I couldn't stop this time. Just around tripping back. I wasn't close enough. I'm about an hour away from, from y'all that's watching. Courtney. Um, you know, I would have stopped through if I was a little bit closer. But, uh, yeah, I got family in Kentucky. And my grandparents was born there. Yeah, my, my grandparents was born in Kentucky and uh, family go way back to like the early 1800s, like, like no, the late 1800s. Yeah. I was watching this story on YouTube um, on 60 Minutes about a black family that bought a house. They didn't know it was an old slave house and come to find out their family was owned, the, was lived, was, was slaves at that uh plantation house and um it was pretty deep man I, I, i'd be kind of sp spooky and they even had the, the the quarters is still there where the slaves slept out in, in the back of the house and that little slave graveyard which is just rock tombstone just like a rock one big rock for an adult and the little ones for like for kids like still back there because um the owners had sold the house their grandparents were the one that had the slaves and they that you know, they wasn't like they was real friendly and cooperated with the video. Like, yeah, this is what they had like two and like a hundred some years ago. But y'all should look that video up, man. That sixty minutes, um, you should see it right on there where the slave I can't remember the name of it. Um, where where uh, the family bought their uh, old family slave house. But that's that's just crazy. I'd be kind of scared to sleep there. But uh. This was ghosts of spirits and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, man, I'm out of here, man. Picking this load up. Dropping it off at the crib. Man, y'all be safe out here. It's Friday. Do something positive. Go be around your family. Because it's good for your energy. If you can. Or if not, get some sleep. Watch positive stuff. Eat good. Don't eat too much junk, garbage foods. That's what I'm learning. Like, just take care of my health. And I'm going, I've changed my health. And I changed it for the good. Cause I do feel better. Um, AFib doesn't bother me like it was, cause I do a lot of things differently. But uh, anyway, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna hit the road as soon as I leave here. Uh oh, did I pull fifty? Yeah, fifty-eight. Am I in fifty-six? That lady told me fifty-five. But anyway, yeah, man, y'all stay blessed out here. Um, do what you got to do to take care of your family. You know what I'm saying? If that's work an extra job, extra side hustle, whatever, don't quit, man. Like, be a go-getter. Live out your dreams. Me and my wife, we have dreams of owning maybe five, six rental properties. It was three. Now, I'm bump it up a little bit more. Maybe six. And uh, let her manage those. And and, and we run the trucking business, too. Um, it's going to happen. We're speaking it into existence. That's going to happen next year. We're speaking it into existence. Um, we're going to own those properties next year. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully we can get a little venue. We want to get a venue um, where we can rent out, hall, rent out a hall and have receptions and parties and stuff like that in it. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm out of here. Uh, I might drop another video this weekend. I don't know. But y'all have a safe, joyous, great weekend. And God bless y'all. Um... I'm going to pray for y'all. It's something I don't normally do. I'm not the best prayer in the world, but I'm going to pray for y'all. Lord, please bless all of my subscribers and my followers. Um, nourish them with money and nourish them with good food and help them in their, their walk and their path of life. And, and bless this channel to grow a little bit more. Amen. God bless. Love y'all. Peace.